Boxing on Channel 5. Defending his name, his legacy, Harlem Eubank. Battling his way up the super lightweight rankings. Can he remain undefeated? Big Fight Live, Eubank vs. Uruskieta, Friday at 10 on Channel 5. Oscar Bevis, IFL TV proudly sponsored by Velas. Jason Cunningham, Josie, mate, congratulations. A win for you tonight. Um, was it about kind of just making sure you didn't get any cuts, bumps, bruises, keeping it safe, keeping it easy, and just doing what you know how to do in box? Yeah, shaking a little bit of rust off. Uh, I mean, I've been here probably had about a month out after it said TFI, and then I started back nice and steady training. So I'm always in the gym anyway, but you know, obviously, fine that's different. So yeah, shaking a bit of rust off, uh, going through my, my skill set, if you like, long range boxing. Then we took it to him a little bit in the second half, uh, standing inside a little bit more, just, just working a few different things, enjoying myself. Really. Like I said, once I started getting into my stride, I enjoyed myself. So happy enough, uh, won it pretty easily, uh, pretty convincing, and a new strap to the collection. Yeah. Obviously, we know what's next in Liam Davis. Was it always going to have to be a fight where you had someone who was going to give you something? I suppose you could have come back tonight knowing there's something big in the pipeline, a kind of just maybe bowled over someone with a negative record did you want something specifically or someone specifically who was at least going to give you something to think about exactly I was offered an eight rounder and stuff and I said you know what says, no, I, says, I want to come back to a proper fight I had a good chat with Andy Alien, obviously Queensbury and uh, you know fair play to, to Andy Frank um, George everyone involved at Queensbury they, uh, they pulled that back for me I wanted a title fight to come back to kid had a good record on paper fought for world titles before uh, so he's fought at top level Um I just, I just needed that. I needed that more for something to prove to myself than anything else. Like I said, I'm a champion again, and we're going to Davis fight now full of confidence. Yeah, what's that time period been like for you? Because there was kind of a lot of talk around, of course, the two failed tests for Zelani Tetti, and I feel like perhaps during that time, not many people were thinking about you. Um, I, I don't kind of want to get too deep, but I can imagine yeah. when you suffer a defeat like that, and then that sort of thing comes out, I can imagine it was just kind of a tough time mentally. It's been a hard time because I appreciated how good Zelani was. Uh, we just, just accept the kind of thing that I got beat by a world class fire, special fire. Like I say, I appreciated his skill set. Got over it. Obviously, I went down. I've been up for my life, running my life, down about it a little bit. Uh, you do, she send down, you go again. It is what it is. But then this one comes out, they drop it that he's failed the drug test. So it's like, you know, it's, it's not good. It's not good. There's no place for drugs in, uh, in any sport, but especially in boxing. And um, yeah, just kind of, it's just not fair, it's not, it's not a fair even playing field if you like, but it is what it is. I always said that, it's just, you know, it's character building. I put it behind me, I'm back and I'm back to winning ways. I mean, it's not a situation anyone wants to be in, but it's kind of the bit a bit about it that he was on this kind of Cinderella story, he was riding the crest of this massive wave and that's been snatched at you for something that, as you say, shouldn't be allowed. So it was that kind of where the bitterness came? You, you worked your ass off in a phase of your career where everyone had written you off. For it to be snatched like that. I did. I, I, like, like I say, I thought, I'm, I'm going to get there. I'm finally, I was so close, but I'm finally going to get there. I was highly world ranked as well. I thought, you know, this is my time. I'm, I'm going to be a world champion. Um, who just said that, you know, I don't know. We don't know what's going on. We don't know the, everything behind it. Only Zelani knows. But who's to say that, you know, he wants to beat me, a clean athlete, you know? I'm just in there to, to get my best shot and that's that. But it weren't fair. It weren't, it weren't clean. Uh, he's had an unfair advantage. It's loaded gloves. Um, but like I say, I don't even want to waste no energy talking about Zlani. I want to say, yeah, he's done now. I'm back to winning ways, and it's just on to Davis now. A big domestic fight, two good fighters, and uh, you know, made the best man win. You're a good man, an honest man. So's Liam. It's going to be an absolutely brilliant fight. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Like I said, I think I've said to a few people tonight, he's probably only super bantamweight. I know he's probably taller than me. Uh, there's not many that are as big as me. It's super bantamweight, but both good boxers. Uh, both don't mind uh, trading it either and having a little bit of a mix-up, so it will be a good fight. I'm looking forward to it. I reckon they should make it part of a tournament of everyone around that weight. Because yeah. around that weight, there is some serious dust-ups and it seems like every matchup you put together, yeah. there's going to be violence and I think I'm kind of expecting yeah. violence between yeah. you, and, uh, you and Liam. Yeah, definitely. Like I say, Queensbury, we've got a brilliant stable of super bantamweights. Um, like a little bit of a round-robin round tournament going off. Yeah. To be fair, like I say, Davies took care of Baluta, Baluta took care of Kane tonight, so it makes sense me and Davies next anyway. Uh, like I say, he's got all my old titles, so yeah, we're just, just excited, getting it on. Back to Telford, just probably a little bit more hostile next time. Fuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I, I never, never shut up, Barry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We need to get opening. 
Right, the bouncer's guilt in. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day, 